guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel, Long Time No See. Um, if you have been on my channel recently, then you know I have been doing weekly vlogs. I tried doing daily vlogs, but it was just kind of too much for me, so we switched to weekly vlogs and those just ended on um, Monday was the last update for that. So definitely go on over, check them out. I pretty much vlog for the whole month of June, but I really like doing the weekly vlogs, so I might continue those maybe after the month of July, just because this month is kind of crazy. If you didn't know, Edom and I got officially engaged. It's something we've been planning for a while, but we got pregnant and I didn't want to get married while pregnant. So, and we're getting married next month. We're getting married in August. So kind of a lot's going on. So I really don't know if I really have the energy or the time to kind of do weekly vlogs. Um, but I figure maybe after that, I will start maybe doing weekly vlogs again, just cause it was kind of fun and it's nice to like look back. The only thing though is that weekly vlogs tend to go like 30 minutes plus cause it's seven days of footage. So let me know what you guys think about that, but definitely go on over and check out my weekly vlogs. I'll link them down below. But let's go ahead and get into what this video is about. It is baby products favorites. Now, Alondra, depending on when this video is going to go up, technically today is um, July 8th. So technically, Alondra will be six months on Thursday, July 9th, which is tomorrow, but depending on when this video goes up. So yeah, pretty much we'll just say she's six months old. Um, and so I don't have a ton of baby products favorites. I feel like we haven't really used a lot of baby products, which might sound a little bit weird. Um, but these are products that we use probably every single day or items that we use every single day. And we just pretty much love them. They're our favorites. They're our go-to. So I wanted to share them with you guys because I really love these kind of baby products favorite video to like know, you know, what there is to like and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and before we do, you might want to stay for the whole entire video. Hint, hint, wink, wink. So the first baby product item I'm going to show you guys is this cloth diaper. Now the brand is Twinkie Tush and we are pretty much exclusively Twinkie Tush. We only have two other cloth diapers that are not Twinkie Tush. But um, if you didn't know, we pretty much cloth diaper. I would probably say now we cloth diaper 90% of the time because we cloth diaper, you know, full time at home as well as when we go out and do errands. We used to not, you know, cloth diaper when we were out doing errands, but now we are. The only time we use a disposable diaper is when we're traveling, which isn't really that much. Um, and you know overnight um, so that's the only time we use disposable so we really love this brand Twinkie Tush and she's probably got about a good 40 cloth diapers or so um, and this is just one of my favorites that she has it is the very hungry caterpillar um, super adorable I love this cloth diaper and it's actually brand new she hasn't even um, used it yet it has not been OTB on the butt a lot of acronyms in the cloth diapering world but um yeah we love this brand so much. Um, I will definitely put down my, I had like a little fluff haul um, with all of the cloth diapers that I had before I actually delivered. Um, I'll link it down below and you guys can check it out. My cloth diaper stash has totally changed. I would say about 95% of those diapers I have sold and then purchased new ones. So if you want an updated cloth diaper video, definitely let me know if you want like a wash routine or if you just want to see my stash I can definitely do that but the first is Twinkie Tush and I will link down her website and her Facebook page all of that good stuff down below because these diapers are amaze. The next thing Alondra doesn't use anymore but definitely when she was a newborn up into three months we use this all the time it was our life saver at night honestly and it is um it's by Halo H-A-L-O like you know a halo for an angel um and it's called Back is Best. Um, I think we got, no, we didn't get this one um, at the hospital, but we had three or four of these. The hospital actually gave us one and then we had two others. So we had three, we had a pink one as well. Um, but yeah, so pretty much it's like a swaddler. So yeah, put the, her inside, obviously her head goes here, her arms here, and then it zips up. So it keeps her warm at night, but then because newborns like the swaddled feeling, um, because obviously when they're inside the womb, they're like used to that. And so this pretty much just comes around and wraps around her body. And then you can make it as tight or as loose as you want. The other two we have actually has Velcro. This one doesn't have Velcro. Um, but yeah, and you just kind of like just swaddle her up. And so her arms go inside. So she's pretty much swaddled up like a burrito. If that, you know, for visual purpose, if you have never seen one of these. Um, and oh my God, you guys, she slept so amazing whenever she was swaddled. We stopped at about three months. Um, 
and I really wish we could still swaddle her at night because she punches and kicks us in the face and the stomach um, and she moves a lot when she sleeps and because she moves so much she wakes up. She used to sleep like pretty much throughout the entire night like at you know three months old even younger like sleep throughout the entire night. It was amazing when she was like obviously a newborn newborn for some that didn't happen but I would say maybe after a month, like a month old, she did. Um, and then ever since we stopped swaddling, oh my God. Like right now, she wakes up anywhere from like two to four times a night, which I, maybe that's not that bad at six months old. I'm not really sure. It's our first baby. Um, but yeah, I definitely miss swaddling her because we got the best sleep when she was swaddled. And I love these things. I am saving actually these for when we ever have a future baby. We're not planning right now, but for when we do because these were so amazing. So I highly suggest these. These are by the brand Halo. So check them out if you're a new mommy or, you know, you're preggers right now. These are amazing. The next item... <laughs> are these I don't even know what they're called like scissors nail scissors um I got them in the baby section I think these are the babies are us brand um but when we had the baby class they told us don't use nail clippers get the baby scissors because they are the best for like cutting their nails and I've never used the actual nail clippers on Alondra um <laughs> you know cousin did Karen um and when we were um down in Mexico visiting for um she was like, oh, you know, her nails are so long and they scratch the crap. I have like scratches all over my shoulders and my chest from her because her nails get super long and sharp. So, and I was so scared to like cut her nails. So finally she was like, oh, I'll do it. So she was using the actual nail clipper and she cut her and she like bled a little bit. Not, not too crazy. Um, but you know, I was laughing. Sorry, Karen. Um, so after that, I was like, traumatized. I was like, oh my God, you know, because everyone was like, oh yeah, Karen's the baby whisperer of cutting nails. She cuts all the baby's nails and she does such a great job. So I'm like, dang, she's the baby whisperer and she cut a laundry. There's no way I'm cutting. I'm using, you know, actual nail clippers to cut her because I was already like super nervous to do it. So we had, we've had these um, and I just never actually opened them and used them. And so I finally used them and I was like, okay, hopefully this is easier. And these are so easy. I mean, you can, I mean, they're just super, super easy. So I highly, highly, highly suggest these. If you're like really nervous to cut the baby's nails, don't use the nail clippers. Use these baby scissors. I think they're, they're just easy and I really like them and they're just super easy to use and not too sharp, you know? So Alondra is in her teething stage right now. She doesn't have any teeth yet, but she's definitely teething. She's drooling like crazy. Um... And she's a little bit cranky, obviously, because she's in pain. And we're not putting aura gel or anything like that on her. Um, but I'm sure you all have seen this draft, um, Sophie. And she is amazing. I don't know what, like, why this giraffe is so amazing, honestly. But she loves this thing. She goes to town chewing this thing. I mean, this is her number one go-to toy. So I definitely suggest this. Um, they are expensive, though. They're like $25. So... I personally don't want to spend the money on it. Um, and thank God we got it um, as a gift from Josie, her aunt. So, but um, these are amazing. I know everyone that has these love these things. Um, but I think they're like the number one chew toy. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I like read that somewhere. But yeah, everybody loves these things. It's funny when we actually had like our baby reunion, I think four of the babies were all like gnawing um, on the Sophie doll um, at the restaurant. So it's super popular. Um, they really do work. She loves it. So, I mean, I highly suggest the Sophie for chewing and it makes a squeaky noise too. So if you have dogs, be careful because our dogs want to attack this thing thinking it's like a dog toy. Another like toy that Alondra really loves is this book. We got it from Morgan. Thanks, Morgan. Um, and it is Hello Kitty Goes to the Park. Um, and it's, can you hear that? That crinkling. Um, and they say babies really need like crinkle toys. Those are the best kind of toys for them. And then toys with different types of texture. Um, and so pretty much this book has it all. Um, so the crinkling noise, which it has. It also has this section here for teething so she can chew on it and she can also chew on this portion here. So it's got little two little teether rings. But like you can see here the tail like sticks out and it has like that fuzzy texture. And then the tree with the apples both have different texture. And then there's like a little mirror so she can see herself. And then the elephant here has different texture. So I mean it's not like a book that we actually read to her. Um, but it's an awesome toy and they say like these kind of things are great for them and it has pretty much all of the things that babies kind of need to like to have you know to learn off of so I definitely suggest um 
I mean, I don't know if this is like easily, you know, available to find this particular one and stuff like that, but just anything with like the crinkly noise, like, you know, and this has like all different, you know, facets to it, which I think is great for her. So if you find something similar to this or like this, I definitely suggest it because she loves this book. Um, I don't see who it's by. I mean, obviously it's by San Rio. So I'll try to see if I can like figure out where it's from. Maybe I can ask my friend Morgan because she bought it for her and I can like link it down below if I can find it. But I just want to put that out there. She loves this thing. Next item is a like two in one item, if that makes sense. It is my boppy. I don't know if you can even see this whole thing. I'll just go like this cheese <laughs> but um i love this thing got it from julie from the baby shower both um so thanks jules and we love this thing this boppy is great for um breastfeeding because i am nursing um i love to put it around my my waist and then you know nurse her on it and to me it's the easiest way i mean i can nurse without it but i definitely prefer having the boppy when i nurse her um also it's great for her to um lay on when you know when they're little and they're not able to like sit up and hold themselves up now she sits up on her own and she definitely can sit in the little like hole here and like stay up on her own which is great it's great to prop them up it's also great for tummy time we use this thing more than just for nursing we use this pretty much well, I use it all the time. I can't speak for Edom, but I think he pretty much does too. But I love this thing. It's great. So I definitely suggest the Boppy. And then the Boppy cover, I'm a super, super sad. I love this thing to death, if you don't know me. Uh, I love donuts. I'm obsessed. And I get so many compliments on this Boppy cover. It was at Target, and it's limited edition. You can no longer buy this Boppy cover. And that's why I say I'm so sad, because somewhere, well, you see that right there. Oh, here it is. It's coming undone. Like the sewing part or the seam, I should say, is coming undone. And so I'm super scared that it's going to get ruined. And then I'm not going to have this cover anymore because I live for this cover. I love this cover. Um, and I've been searching actually everywhere to see if I can find another one. And I haven't been able to find it, not even on Amazon. I should check eBay. But I love this cover so much. Um, and yeah, and there, it was only 10 bucks. So I mean, I'm sure because it's limited edition and now it's no longer available. Somebody's probably selling it for stupid amounts of money. But anyways, yeah. Um, so I, I feel bad kind of showing something you can no longer buy. But I, it's a baby product that I love. So hey. But yeah. So Boppy cover. Love. Boppy. Love. And next item that we love. And Idam was just using it today to keep Alondra calm because she was having a complete meltdown is this Ergo Baby. It's a baby carrier. We love our Ergo Baby so much. I actually got it from my coworkers when they threw me a baby shower, and this was the like main gift that they gave me, which was so amazing that they did that. Um, this is the Ergo Baby 360. So you can wear it front, face it, and she can like face you, or she could face out. You can wear her on the side, or you can wear her in the back. Um, and we love this thing right now. We wear her like facing us. So like chest to chest. We haven't tried other positions. Um, but we love this thing. Like I said, we use this all the time. We use it when we go do errands. Um, use it when we go take the dogs on a walk or a potty. Use it when we're cleaning the house. Like honestly, it's a lifesaver um, when we need to clean the house and she's kind of being a little needy or crabby. We just throw her in this so we can get stuff done. Um, I love this thing. If you were a Tula snob, don't be like, ew, ergo sucks. I like my Tula. <laughs> Don't be hating, okay, on my Ergo Baby, because we love this thing. Um, I'm definitely curious, though, about the Tulas. I've been, like, watching them, and I noticed that they're, like, st they're super hard to get because they, like, only stock once a week, limited prints, and you have to, like, hurry up and buy it before, like, thousands of other people try to buy one. But, um, yeah, I am interested in the Tulas, but I just haven't seen, like, a Tula print where I'm like, ooh, I have to have it. Um, if I'm going to spend that much money on it, I think they're, like, $179, but people resell them for, like, thousands of dollars, so, um, yeah, to, the Tula world is something I don't really know if I want to get sucked into right now because I'm already sucked into the cloth diaper world, and that's just a crazy one. But, um, yeah, so, and with baby carriers, I mean, if you can't afford an Ergo, I mean, definitely you can get, like, a baby carrier, you can get a baby wrap, or you can get, like, a ring sling. We have a ring sling. We don't have a wrap, but I really want to get a wrap. And I really like my ring sling, too. It's just you have to kind of get it just right. I feel like the ring sling takes me a little bit longer to, like, get perfectly to get her situated in. And the um, Ergo Baby is just so much easier to throw in, snap, and done. So I do like the ring sling. It just takes longer. Um, but that's always a great option. But, like, wrapping, we don't have a wrap, and I really want to get one because I really like the baby wrapping. Um, when we went to Mommy Con, I don't know if you guys saw that vlog, um, I learned how to baby wrap, and that was a lot of fun. But, yeah, so baby carrier any type I, I love them but 
make sure if you get a baby carrot, you don't want their legs to be straight down parallel. You want them to be bent. So that's just kind of, you know, for their posture and their hips and all that. Make sure their legs are bent. You don't want them straight down. So last but not least to my favorite baby product item or our favorite baby product item is from Freshly Picked and they are amazing. If you don't know what Freshly Picked is, you can see it on Kourtney Kardashian. It's like all over in the magazines right now. They're huge on Instagram and they are baby moccasins and they come in this cute little bag. How cute is this bag? Um, and I actually store them in here whenever I put them away. And I got the rose gold moccasins and oh my God, you guys, they are so freaking cute. I love these so much. I got them in a size too because I wanted to get a little bit bigger for her that way she can because she wears them now and then she can keep wearing them as her feet grow and they are just adorable I mean I, I love them to death they're leather they even smell super good um I love these they're so cute with outfits I'll insert little pictures so you guys can kind of see um her wearing them they're super cute love them so so much I mean they're soup and they're like, look at how the shoes are. Like, they really conform to the feet. Like, some of the other shoes that we have, they're super stiff on her. And I don't know if it's uncomfortable for her. These, she loves a lot. And she's, like, a type of girl that, likes always moving her feet. Always, like, she, like, goes like this all the time with her foot. Like, rolls her, her ankle and stuff a lot. Um, and she loves to chew on these, too, which is kind of funny. She loves to, like, put them, like, right in the mouth. They're super soft. Um, so I really love these. I think they're super cute. I think they're well made. I love them so much. I definitely want to get more pairs and different colors because it's so funny now when I dress her and it's time to go out, I have to make sure I get an outfit that matches these shoes. And if I don't have an outfit that matches these shoes, I typically don't want to dress her in it because I want her to wear these because I love them so much. So I need to get more colors because I love them so much. So Freshly Picked and I teamed up and we are giving away a free pair of baby moccasins. Now they are not going to be these moccasins. You get to pick which color and size you want. Um, but what you need to do to enter a pair because you know you want these is you need to be subscribed to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter because that's where I will be announcing the winner. And you also will want to follow Freshly Picked on Instagram. And then you need to comment on this video to let me know what your favorite baby product item is. If you've already had a baby, you can say what it was, but just what your favorite baby product item is, please comment down below. And I will pick a winner um, on August 1st. So this will go till July 31st. That's when it'll end. So you want to make sure you are entering um, one entry per person, please. Um, and yeah, I will pick the winner and then it'll be announced on Instagram and Twitter. So you want to make sure you are definitely following me. Um, if you forget what the rules are, they will all be, everything will be down below, all the information that you need in the description box. So open up that bad boy to make sure you're following the rules. But that is everything I have for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, be on the lookout for more videos. I'm trying to film more because I've been kind of bad with it. But I'm going to stop rambling and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.